Posterior paraspinal muscle approach is effective in treating thoracolumbar burst fractures. Thoracolumbar burst fracture is one of the common spinal fractures in adults due to high energy axial loading, caused by automobile accidents, vertical falls and sporting injuries. Surgery with pedicle rod system is the usual method of treatment in such conditions, but it can result to many complications in the Asian population. Many studies have evaluated the use of post-middle approach for the surgery, but it led to extensive soft tissue damage. Research has indicated posterior paraspinal muscle approach for pedicle rod placement. The goal of the study was to determine the clinical outcomes in patients with thoracolumbar burst, fracture treated with open reduction, internal fixation of post-middle approach and posterior paraspinal muscle approach. Patients in the age group of 20 to 55 years, who had a grade D or E spinal cord injury, and whose posterior longitudinal ligament, was intact without any of bone fragments into the spinal canal without any concomitant fractures at other sites, and who underwent spinal surgery in less than or equal to two weeks, after the initial injury were included in the study. Patients who had a past history of fracture, to the spinal lower extremities, a sustained pathological fracture and a cognitive impairment along with a cerebral infarction or hemorrhage, and with underlying injuries in the thoracic and abdominal regions, were excluded from this study. The randomized control trial included 62 patients who were divided into two groups. Group A. Patients underwent surgery with the posterior paraspinal muscle approach, whereas, Group B. Patients underwent surgery with post-middle approach. The clinical outcomes were measured on the basis of visual analog score, Oswestry disability index, operative time, intraoperative blood loss, X-ray exposure time post-operative drainage volume, post-operative kyphotic angle and post-operative visual analog scale score. The amount of blood loss in intraoperative and post-operative period was higher in posterior middle approach than in posterior paraspinal muscle approach. The visual analog score in the one-month and three-month follow-up periods was significantly higher in group B than in group A. The Oswestry Disability Index scores were significantly higher in the Group B than in Group A during the follow-up period between two weeks to two years. The study results showed that clinical outcomes were better in patients who had undergone posterior paraspinal muscle approach spinal surgery than in those whose approach to spinal surgery was through post-middle approach.